Puce. 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 Like the Puce Knight. Hi! Welcome to the Dan and Steve Show! You... you mean the Steve and Dan Show? How about the Dan and Steve Show? How about the Steve and Dan Show? How about Dan and, and Steve, Steve the, the Show? show. Watching Dan and Steve, the shoe. One man's junk is another man's treasure. <clears throat> Steve, what are we still sitting at the desk for? I, I don't know. Hi, I'm Daniel Baker. We are actually as in Steve and I, are interviewing people around camp because we want to know exactly how staff orientation is going. These reports are 100% accurate and really show the emotional and ecological mindset of the staff as a whole. It's also scatological. Ecumenical. Scientifical. Mystery of Fiacal. Fantastical. Scrum to lesson to. I don't think I can top that one. Neither do I. I'm here now with Steve Meyer, the Director of Operations here at Camp Lutherhaven. Tell us, Steve, what exactly are you doing? I'm burning the forest down. What's it look like? Oh, did you want more? Oh. Well, is, is it safe? I mean, I notice you have a, uh, a giant hamster ball, a catapult, and what looks to be a World War I gun over there. Well, that's, that would be my escape route. I think this would probably be out of control. I could just climb into the hamster ball, load myself on the catapult, and launch myself into the pond in front of the welcome center. The police from the fire. Wow. So tell us. This operation is 100% camper friendly and perfectly safe, correct? In the off season, yeah. Yep. 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 Daniel, don't get too close. That jacket will melt. Dan and Steve, the show. It's better than watching a forest. Dan and Steve, the show. The, the show. show. Um, I never heard that one. Sounds Tell me, what is the news? The news. The word on the street. Well, I heard the dirt. I heard from a little. The lowdown. <laughs> I heard the happenings. <laughs> ah, I heard from a little white bird. Talk. That. Hi. Hi. How are you? No, that's my question. I'm the one asking the questions here. Okay, ask yes. away. What? How? Why? Because you said so? I'll accept that. Okay. Thank you. And that's the most beautiful coat I think I've ever seen. Is that honestly a real estate coat? Of course it is. Hi. I'm Dan Baker, here with Dan and Steve, the show. This is really dirty. Hello. Hi. I'm Dan Baker, with Dan and Steve, Hi. the show. The show. Hi, how are you? Tell us, what are you doing right now, and what is your name? I'm Sarah Eileen Weekly from the Tri-Cities, Washington. Hi, Mom. Hi. Mom, can you see me? Can you see me? I'm totally... Go Cougs! Go Thank Cougs! You. Go okay. Cougs! Go Cougs! Cougar rowing, yeah! Tell me, I'm Dan Baker with Dan and Steve, the show. Hi, 
Can mom see me? Can my mom see me? With my hands. <laughs> down, down. Put your hands down. <laughs> Tell us, how is staff training going so far? Excuse me. Speak up, please. <laughs> wow, that was an amazing insight. I feel like working. <laughs> okay. There's a man over here, and I believe his name is Richie. I need to go talk with him. You see, we've had a few problems in the past. Hey, Richie. Steve. How are you today? Well, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just running the vacuum here, you know, I was the uh, 1876 uh, World Vacuum Champion. Um, yeah, Did they have vacuums back then? No, did I say 18, I meant 19. Oh, okay. Sorry about the mix-up. Okay. okay. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a big race. We had a 700 square foot room that we had to vacuum. First person, uh, first person wins, loser out. World champ that year. Nice. Yep. By chance, did you happen to have a self-powered vacuum at the time? I didn't. Nope. Um, funny ass, so Steve. I actually had a bicycle that I had attached a generator on so that as the wheels spun, it uh, powered the vacuum. You may think that that strategy would take a little bit longer, but let me tell you something. I'll give Lance Armstrong a run for his money any day of the week. That's pretty intense. Yep. I'm glad to see you're keeping up with the training. Yeah, you know, um, Luther Haven recruited me about uh, about two years ago now. I've been running strong for them for a while. They're a great sponsor. It's good to have them back in me. Nice. You know, I'm just in here running the rug for them. You know, I just do it in the off time. Try and keep, try to keep healthy. Well, keep up the practice. Hey, thanks. Thanks, Steve. And win. All right. Good to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. Andrew, 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 Andrew. Hi. It's Andrew. Hi, I'm Dan Baker, here with Dan and Steve. The show. What is your name? Andrew. Tell us, Andrew, what are you doing right now? Well, right now, I'm getting done mopping. That water looks like it came from a toilet. Well, it pretty much did. Apparently, some people can't aim. So you aimed in the mop bucket. Exactly. Tell us, how do you think staff training is going so far? Wonderfully, of course. Are you being truthful? <laughs> well, that depends on who's watching this video. <laughs> no, staff one... training is amazing. <laughs> I have one more question. <laughs> yes, please. What do you think of Steve and I's jackets? Uh, I think they are the coolest jackets I've ever seen, and I am amazingly jealous. I think you should turn the camera so everyone can see you. Thank you, Andrew. Yeah, no problem. You can go dump your toilet water. <laughs> Thank you. Filthy, rusty bilge water. Fascinating story, Steve. Indeed. <clears throat> what do we have next? I think we have an update about the Internet. As... Any elementary student should know the internet is a series of tubes. Not just a series of tubes. It pipes along internet's things along this series of tubes via <laughs> large trucks. This is elementary knowledge. That is the only thing where it begins. You see, the problem happens to be when those intertubes that you carry the internet trucks in become clogged. Although the metaphor of trucks is actually not a very good one. It's mostly pipes. <laughs> now, one of the biggest problems of books is that they are not the internet. And what happens is that sometimes those intertubes get clogged when people want too many books. 
and we don't want books. That's been the problem. The intertubes are clogged. So, the only solution is to send a small monkey into the intertubes. We will strap him into a little chair, and we will put him into the matrix of the intertubes. And he will go in there with his monkey scrubbing brush, and he will clean these intertubes. In short, the internet is like...